The San Pablo Bay wetlands are one of San Francisco Bay's most spectacular places for birds. In addition to sensitive species such as the California black rail, the San Pablo song sparrow, and the salt marsh common yellowthroat, one will find a startling array of waterfowl, waterbirds, and shorebirds out here. On this day, we saw a lot of western sandpiper and American avocet, but we also saw some long-billed curlew, white-tailed kite, northern harrier, and a lot of other interesting birds that we didn't catch on video. Audubon, California has identified the San Pablo Bay wetlands as one of the most important tidal estuaries in the state, and we've designated it as an Audubon important bird area. Located in the northernmost point of San Francisco Bay, it provides vital habitat in one of the hemisphere's most critical points for birds. Clearly, restoring and improving habitat in this area can have significant benefits for the many species that spend time here. Audubon, California is working with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service on a project to restore tidal marsh on the San Pablo Bay National Wildlife Refuge. Over the years, this area has seen the construction of a number of internal levees that restrict the natural flow of water through this habitat area. Because of this, a lot of birds aren't able to use this habitat as they otherwise would. On a simple level, much of our restoration will involve knocking down a lot of these barriers and creating channels for water to flow through freely. A lot of these isolated pools will be connected to other channels. Another one of our goals is to re-establish native vegetation to better support the birds as well as the endangered salt marsh harvest mouse, which lives out here as well. We're happy to say that after months of planning, we've finally been able to start our work out here on the refuge, and we'll get back to you with updates. 